The history of hepatitis B vaccine started in the late 1970s when plasma, which was collected from carriers of the hepatitis B virus, was purified and these uh, viral particles, the envelope particles of hepatitis B, uh, the purified particles were prepared in such a way uh, that they can be used for vaccination. This is called the first generation plasma-derived vaccine. There were mainly two manufacturers initially in the United States and in Europe, and the vaccine was excellent. However, since it was collected from humans who were carriers of the hepatitis B, there was concern that these plasmas may be infected with other agents, for example, HIV. In the beginning of the 1980s, attempts have been made to use recombinant DNA technology uh, to replace the plasma-derived vaccines. And this resulted in what we call transfection of the baker yeasts with the genes of the hepatitis B virus, which code for the envelope protein, which means that now the genes that are responsible for producing the envelope protein were introduced into yeast, and the yeast produces the surface antigen, which was used for the second generation hepatitis B vaccines. These second generation hepatitis B vaccines are now the most commonly used vaccine and about 179 countries in the world already are using this vaccine for what we call universal mass vaccination. There's a whole number of reasons why a person might not react with uh, appropriate immune responses to a currently licensed second generation vaccine against hepatitis B. There are some people who are genetically unable to react appropriately to the major component of the vaccine, then it's, it's age. As we age, our propensity to make antibodies against hepatitis B vaccine decrease. They range from almost 100% zero protection rates when you immunize newborns to roughly 50% when you immunize people above 60. Then there are a number of chronic diseases that go along with immunosuppression, particularly treatment for cancer, obesity, diabetes, renal failure, uh, hemodialysis that also cause reduced rates of seroconversion, reduced immunogenicity of the vaccine in, in such people. 